All right, our viewer question today, they have asked, do you have any experience with reversing type one diabetes through a whole food plant-based diet? Ah, one of the holy grail questions for people with uh, diabetes. Alas, I wish I could wave a magic wand and zoop, make uh, type one diabetes disappear. Uh, type one diabetes is a significant injury to the pancreas cells that produce in, uh, insulin. Uh, this is an autoimmune phenomenon. Uh, antibodies get made, they think, against some food uh, proteins, possibly uh, some of the milk proteins and dairy products, uh, and the antibodies made against them turn around and attack the pancreas in some people. Uh, but be that as it may, whatever the cause is, as the pancreas cells that make insulin, the beta cells get damaged to the point where they just can't produce enough insulin to meet the needs of the person's body, then by definition, they have type 1 diabetes. And the insulin producing power of the pancreas just isn't there. And up until this point, uh, there's been nothing to do except uh, give insulin injections. Uh, and as technologies moved along, they now have these amazing insulin pumps that monitor your uh, blood sugar and then put a little bit of insulin into the bloodstream as needed for, for high blood sugars. And the holy grail the researchers are working on uh, is either to revive the pancreas cells, which I'll talk about in a minute, or to give the person an artificial pancreas by taking some of these beta cells and putting it under the skin and acting as a uh, as a autonomous pancreas that that's monitoring its own blood sugar and knows how much insulin to make, like a real pancreas does. Now the trick is, of course, if it come if those cells come from somebody else, uh, you've got to keep the person's body from seeing that as foreign tissue and killing it, you need uh, you know, anti-rejection uh, medications and all that. And so they're not quite there yet for that. Uh, so is there any way to uh, get the body to create new uh, beta cells of its own? We'll talk about that in a minute, but I'll just put a pin in this one. The answer is no, I don't know any way to quote reverse type one diabetes. Now, what the person needs to do is work with a program like Mastering Diabetes to find out how to get your body as sensitive to insulin as possible and have your diet produce even levels of blood sugar. So the smallest amount of insulin that maybe your pancreas is still making or that you are injecting uh, becomes sufficient. So you don't need these huge doses of insulin. So there's lots to do to optimize the insulin function of a type one diabetic person. Uh, but again, I uh, can't magically reverse that uh, condition with uh, eating two cloves of garlic and wearing a rutabaga around your neck. Or so I, I wish that would make it go away, but alas. Uh, long answer, but complex question and a little little ray of hope there. Uh, but the answer is uh, no at this point. And so uh, take good care of your diabetes. So I would work, I highly recommend uh, uh, the wonderful program called Mastering Diabetes because type one, type two, this disease will turn on you and, and cost you your eyesight, your kidney function. It's not something to be messed with or to be sloppy with learn how to master it, uh, hence the, the name of this course. So uh, whether or not you ever reverse it, uh, do the best you can with it. And uh, that's why their Mastering Diabetes course is so excellent. So highly recommended to, that you uh, check that out. Okay, that's very helpful information for the course and for how to treat your body. You know, it might not reverse it, but like you said, it can affect the function of how the insulin works in your body. And, um, you know, that maybe in the future, like you said, there is some hope. Indeed, uh, as we've learned, especially through type two diabetes, that is fat in the diet uh, and, and the, the junk fats, mostly the, you know, dairy fats, vegetable oils, meat fats, if you're not vegan, et cetera, uh, these clog up your insulin receptors. So whatever insulin you are taking doesn't work as well. So that's why a low fat whole food plant-based diet uh, is the key to managing type one and type two diabetes. So um, doesn't mean you can never ever have you know some walnuts or some avocado, no, but it should not be a keto diet. It shouldn't be a high fat diet that really uh, interferes with insulin function. So uh, 
So again, you learn about that in the Mastering Diabetes course. So a low fat, whole food plant-based diet is the key for whatever insulin you take to have it work as, as well as possible. Okay, great. And if, if someone is interested in that course, how can they go? Yeah, so if, you, if you Google Mastering Diabetes, uh, Robbie Babaro and Cyrus Kambata, uh, they're just real pro. They both have type one diabetes. They know wherewith they speak. Uh, and they've come up with this wonderful program to at least master it. Um, if, you, if you're riding that horse, at least you want to stay, stay on top. No one wanted to trample you. So uh, they give you a, a good techniques to, uh, to master your diabetes, whether it's type 1 or type 2. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.